Hi, beautiful. Today, we're doing some color remover things. I've never been this excited about color remover in my life. We're gonna be testing four different formulas, all very different from each other, to see which one lightens the hair the best and is the most effective way of getting color out of your hair. I wanna see how good these color removers remove my own hair color, X Mondo color, from the hair. I know some of you guys are wondering how easy it is to remove or what it looks like when it's removed, so I'll be sharing with you today the results that I get from these experiments. Let's do it. Color is not a one size fits all type of thing. The effectiveness of the color remover depends on so many things like the porosity of the hair, the coarseness of the hair, how fresh the color is, and all hair color lines are not formulated for the same things. Some hair color lines have colors that last a lot longer, some a lot less. You have to be the one that chooses the color line that works out for you. My personal color line is meant to last a long time. However, I now this is so confusing. I've seen my color last five washes and I've seen it last 45. It all depends on your hair type. That is why we don't say how long our semi-permanent color lasts because it is just not something that you can measure. Let's see if we can remove some color effectively with these different formulas and see which one is the best. Let me grab Miss Maniquin. Miss Maniquin has super blue on her hair. Oh my you guys, her hair feels like actual silk. This is how my hair actually started, this color. So my hair has faded quite a bit and I have not used any color remover on it. I've just been shampooing it, just how I usually do, like once a week. So I probably shampooed it like seven or eight times now. Um, and my hair tends to really latch onto color. I did also bleach my hair before applying Super Blue. This is how it fades. It's faded about like three or four levels since coloring it. So it does start off very deep blue when you first do it. So her hair is also very freshly colored. I did it today. So it has not been shampooed yet. We have the maximum pigment you could possibly try and remove right now. It's gonna be tough, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, so what I'm gonna do here is actually just leave this bang section out with just a strand on the side also. That way we have something to compare to at the end. Okay, now I'm just gonna section out her hair into four sections. That way we have four different sections to try each four different formulas on. Ooh, our hair looks so gorgeous. I'm definitely sad that this is all gonna go away. <laughs> Up first on my left front side, we are gonna try this vitamin C and water mixture. We've got like the powder vitamin C. I've never done this exact thing before, but it says to apply to damp hair. So that is what I'm gonna do. This one says that it should be on the hair for an hour. That's why I'm applying it first because this is gonna take forever to do. Ew, why isn't this working? I think this is what it's supposed to look like. Still not really sure, but I'm gonna just keep going along with it. I mean, this is very difficult to apply. I don't know if this needs to just be like chopped up more or whatever, but it's everywhere. But damn, it's already like light blue. What? This is crazy. I've never used this before. I always was kind of skeptical about it. This is, I'm pretty sure, supposed to expand your hair fibers and kind of swell it. That way the color can lift out when you rinse it off. I'm really trying to like get it in there, like really roughing up the cuticle. All the blue is coming off onto my hand. That's a good sign. And of course, you guys, this is semi-permanent color. My color line is just that. So therefore, you do, you know, eventually want this color to come out. I'm gonna go through here one more time and just really make sure it's in there as best as I possibly can. That's like light blue at this point. This is not gonna be that even. I'm sorry guys, I am doing my best with whatever this is. All right, now that I have completely wrecked everything, we're gonna pin up that hair and move on. Now we are gonna do our next type of color remover, which is another homemade type of moment. And this is dishwashing soap, baking soda, and anti-dandruff shampoo. Now this one is a bit more liquidy. Ooh, okay. I mean, it smells really good. This is also a lot easier to use than the previous formula. I don't think it's gonna be as effective. I don't know. Nope, nothing happening yet. So this one I'm guessing works because dishwashing soap is a very harsh cleaner. So it's really gonna strip everything off the surface of the hair and same with the anti-dandruff shampoo. I'm pretty sure it's quite strong. Baking soda is also known to remove really tough like grime from things that are dirty. I sound stupid, but it's fine. And so those three together creates a super blend of extremely stripping ingredients, which can affect your hair negatively. So 
if you're gonna do something like this on already compromised bleached hair, make sure you, you know, do a deep conditioning mask after, but it is gonna be a little bit better than using bleach. Boom, that's applied. The color is starting to come out, I can see it. That's gonna stay in the hair for 20 minutes. Once I finish, I will then bag the whole head. Now, we are going to move on to something that I've used before and have liked. And a lot of you guys I know have used this. This is the infamous color oops. This is what everybody gets at the store when their hair looks I wanted to use something that was very accessible to you guys and not professional because I know not all of you guys out there are professional hairstylists and don't have access to stores like that. Shampoo on this too? Yep. That was quick. You know what I'm doing now. Wow. Come here, Saya. She's a hairstylist. Yeah, I yeah. am. I learned from the best. Oh! Hey! You heard it first! Because I can't ever show my face, so there's my hand. There's your hand. <laughs> How does Color Oops work? Tell me. Color Oops reverses the oxidation process of hair color pigment. So we just mix these up and apply it evenly to the section. What happened to you, Miss Manny Quinn? Where are you? There you are, girl. Don't die on me now. She's over it. She's like, F this. All right, so it is actually a gel, which I wasn't expecting. There's the smell, it's starting. Color removers always smell like rotting eggs. Super easy to apply, which I really like, obviously. And I don't think we're gonna see the results of this until we actually shampoo it out, because that is what the instructions actually say, that you have to shampoo this, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but that is the way the dye molecules fall out of the hair. If there's any part of your hair that you do not want to be lightened, definitely don't apply this there. Um, if you have roots on your hair, you don't want to put color remover on it because sometimes it can lighten it. Depending if the color remover formula has lightening agents, some of them do. They will lighten your natural hair color as well as the uh, colored parts of your hair. Alrighty, that is color oops all applied. The scent wasn't like too bad. I mean, my nose is definitely... <laughs> burning. My respiratory system is a little compromised, but to be expected, I guess. So my next formula is an oldie, but a goodie. And this one always is my favorite, but we'll see what happens today on this color. This is lightener slash whatever we want to call it, bleach. Any kind of strong shampoo um, or cheap shampoo will work. 20 volume and a little bit of water. And now we are just going to apply this to the hair. Just get it all in there. Let me just bleach your face too. It is already turning green. Wow. That worked really fast. Look how light that color is. I can't breathe. When you mix shampoo with bleach, it just like really something happens in there and it just really doesn't like it. It's the worst when you're standing over a sink and you're doing this and it's all like whoosh, right in your face. It's not fun. All right. We'll let that sit for 20 minutes. Also, this is definitely so far <laughs> the most effective one of all. Her hair's already like light green, as you can see. We're going to put a plastic bag on her head and let these all sit for their allotted amount of times. And I'll see you when I come back for the results. All right, guys, the results are in. First up, we have the vitamin C and water mixture. It's definitely very, very, very subtle. Definitely lifted the color. Like, as you can see, that's definitely a lot darker than that. I'm pretty happy with that because this is definitely the most gentle formula out of all of them. This is supposed to be repeated over and over again until the color comes out as much as you want it to. Your hair is going to be fine. It might dry it out a bit, but just condition it and it does feel amazing after. Up next, we have this back section, which is the dandruff shampoo with the dishwashing soap with the baking soda. I think this one, was pretty much just as effective as the first one. So I would rather use this second formula. This one you can also do multiple times in a row if it's not at your desired result yet, but it will definitely dry out your hair a lot. Okay, and then we get into some more serious color removers. Color oops. Now let me be honest with you. I realized the directions said that it would go in your cuticle and remove the color. And then I'm over here sitting watching this process and I'm like, wow, Sometimes you just are such an idiot. This is semi-permanent hair color. It is not actually going in the cuticle and staying in there. It is laying on the surface mainly. Color remover is not exactly going to work because it works on artificial dye molecules that are inserted into the cortex of the hair and it releases them. Semi-permanent or direct dyes do not do that. I guess I was ultimately confused because it does say on the box here, gently removes permanent and semi-permanent hair color, which is the reason why I use it. On the directions, it says, do not use this on direct dyes. Color oops, I'm confused. Can I use it on semi-permanent color or can I not? And I'm even extra, extra, extra confused because it actually worked quite well. I think this did a really good job at removing the color actually, even though uh, I probably shouldn't have used it because it's not technically made for semi-permanent colors. I can't figure it out because box is one thing, the directions say another. In my head, I'm saying, 
no, you shouldn't use color oops on semi permanent color because it's not made for that. Chemistry wise, it doesn't really make sense, but at the same time, I didn't formulate the color oops. So if you guys are hair stylists, just comment below and let me know what you think about that. And lastly, my all time favorite, the one that never fails me, a bleach bath. Look at how blonde she is. Obviously we're seeing a little bit of green in there, but that's to be expected when you're lifting out really dark blue out of the hair. But wow, it came out so even, so quickly. It was like 15 minutes. This is exactly what I wanna see when I'm lifting my own color out of hair. I wanna see that it is removable because it is not meant to stay in your hair forever. It is semi permanent color. That's the fun of it. You can change it all the time. But as you can see, we got quite a beautiful even lift on the hair hair. Depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for just a slight lift, maybe use the first two formulas. Or if you're looking for a heavy duty lift, use some lightener. As you can see, this is the before and this is the after. So yes, my color lifts out of the hair quite beautifully. Those are my findings for today. Definitely going to keep using lightener and 20 volume and shampoo and water mixed together to lighten my colors out of my hair because it's just the easiest thing to do and it does the best job of all. Make sure you guys follow me everywhere else. Here are all my social media handles. Check it out. Go for it. If you guys want to check out the color that I use in today's video, it is called Super Blue and it is linked below. You can also head to our Instagrams, Addix Mondo Hair and Addix Mondo Color for hair care and color, obviously. Or head over to xmondohair.com. Make sure you guys subscribe if you're not already. Ooh, it's right down there. Do it up. Hit the like button and the bell. Go for it. That would really be appreciated. This is my phone number. Yes, it is really connected to my phone. Yes, I really do see all your messages. And yes, I'll be replying to a few of you who message me right now. This is to be notified on whenever I post a video and all kinds of other fun, awesome stuff. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Rebecca. She says, this is my hair three months after getting a balayage. It was the first time getting my hair bleached. Should I get a light and more, get it toned again, do something different or keep it the same? I think you should get a light and more if you're looking for a change. I think it looks super beautiful. Your hair is so healthy and gorgeous, but I think you could even add more lightness and more punch just a little bit more though don't go overboard because i think it looks great as is but i do like this warmer tone on you so keep it in the warmer family it looks beautiful that's all for today guys thank you so much for watching don't forget to live your extra life and i'll see you next time bye guys